Good morning. Welcome to Morning Special. 여러분 안녕하세요. 10월 1일 화요일 최수진의 Morning Special입니다. 여러분 지금으로부터 111년 전 헝가리인이 기록한 조선의 모습은 과연 어땠을까요? 서울 역사박물관은 한국 헝가리 수교 30주년을 맞아 카메라를 든 헝가리 의사 보조키 대조 1908 사진전을 오늘부터 개최한다고 합니다. 개항의 상징인 재물포항, 남대문, 경복궁, 탑골공원, 거문도, 부산 새벽시장 등 헝가리 의사였던 보조씨의 카메라에 담긴 대한제국의 모습을 볼수 있는데요. 당시 보조키 씨는 오스트리아 헝가리 제국 해군 군의관으로 재물포를 시작으로 서울, 거문도, 부산을 여행했다고 합니다. 청취자 여러분, 여러분이 기억하고 있는 서울의 모습, 대한민국의 모습에는 과연 어떤 것들이 있나요? 1번 A thousand greetings. 3번 A thousand words. 오늘도 청취자 여러분의 많은 참여 기다리고 있습니다. 퀴즈 정답 보내주신 분들 중에 추첨을 통해서 총 다섯 분께 떡볶이 세트 보내드리겠습니다. 또 여러분의 소식과 소감 그리고 방송 중 궁금한 질문 있으시면 보내주세요. 짧은 문자 50원 긴 문자 100원에 샵 1045고요. 반디 게시판이나 카카오톡 플러스 이용도 가능합니다. 네 그리고 알려드립니다 2019년 10월 1일 07시 50분 고흥군 지역에 호우경보가 발효됐습니다 집중호우 시 인명피해가 많이 발생하고 있는 물에 잠긴 도로나 소규모 교량은 접근을 금해주시고 불필요한 외출은 자제하시기 바랍니다 산사태나 상습 침수, 축대 붕괴 등 재해 위험 지역 주변과 해안 저지대 주민은 관계자의 지시에 따라 사전에 안전한 곳으로 대피하시기 바랍니다. 보행 중 가로등, 신호등 및 옥외 광고판, 맨홀 뚜껑 주변은 감전 위험이 있으므로 접근하지 마시기 바랍니다. All right. Well, let's kick off today's show with today's global headlines. 세계 각국 언론사들의 어떤 헤드라인이 올라왔는지 살펴보는 시간이죠. Touch Global Headlines. China marks its 70th National Day today with a large military parade and pageant. 중국이 오늘 건국 70주년을 맞아서 역대 최대 규모의 행사에 돌입합니다. Former Chancellor Sebastian Kurz's National People's Party has won a clear victory in Austria's snap parliamentary election. 오스트리아 총선에서 세계 최연소 총리 제바스티안 크루츠가 이끄는 국민당이 1위를 차지했습니다. Vietnam's economy has surged more than 7% in the third quarter despite a global economic slowdown. 글로벌 통상 마찰과 경기 둔화에도 베트남이 올해 3분기 7%가 넘는 경제 성장률을 기록했습니다. Yemen's Houthi rebels have released footage they said was of a major attack on Saudi Arabia's southern region of Najran. Saudi Arabia, Najran 지역을 대규모로 공격해 승리를 거뒀다고 주장한 예멘 반군 후티가 증거 동영상을 공개했습니다. An art festival in Japan has decided to put back on display a statue representing women forced into Japan's wartime sexual slavery. 우익 세력과 일본 정부 등의 압박 속에 중단된 소녀상 전시가 일본에서 재개될 전망입니다.
And for the headlines and more, I'm joined by Steve Hatherley. Good morning, Steve. Good morning. It's October. Oh, yeah. October. October 1st. October. Isn't it? It sounds strange to say it because we haven't said it for a year. <laughs> Right? True. Yeah. <laughs> it's, My been, goodness. it's been 12 months since we've really used the word. Yeah. Wow. Well, happy October to you. Happy October 1st to you. Yeah. You were talking about um, taking pictures in the opening in some context today. Yeah. Are you a fan of digital photography or, uh, an what do you call it, analog Analog. Photo Photography, mm. print cameras, or not photography at all. <laughs> I quite like my digital camera on my mm. phone. I, uh, a year or two ago, I was very excited. I went to the area of Seoul where they sell the old style cameras oh, from yeah. the 1970s and 80s. Oh, yeah. And I wow. bought this really cool film camera. Mm -hmm. And then I went to, what's it called? Nami, Nami Song? Nami Song. Where they have the jazz festival, yeah. right? Really beautiful, mm. gorgeous lake, gorgeous foliage to take a look at lots of pretty trees took so many pictures yeah came back to seoul took my film to the print shop went a week later to pick it up mm -hmm. i had put the the film in the camera wrong <laughs> i didn't <laughs> no! have i didn't have one picture not Nothing. one not oh, one <laughs> dear. so i'll stick with the uh <laughs> the digital, with the digital yeah, phone yeah. camera from now on I know. I mean, on the one hand, I miss having physical, you know, photos because mm -hmm. I quite liked that. But then on the other hand, like you said, it's way more convenient. So convenient. <laughs> what about this then? Do you prefer to read a book through a tablet PC or a physical book? I actually prefer physical books. Me too. Yeah, unless it's an audio book, in which case I don't have to look at anything. Fair point. But yeah, yeah I don't know why, but with when you have tablet books mm -hmm. it just doesn't feel doesn't, like a I know, book i know it doesn't feel the same right you <laughs> I don't need get to, to be able yeah like flick through the pages yep exactly yeah. fold over the corner if you want to put your book down for a second i know times are different now huh absolutely yeah. our writer says he really enjoyed developing photos he's dating himself of course <laughs> i would love to do that someday have yeah a, you, you had to wait days didn't you i don't know how long it takes uh if you have that dark they call it a dark room right mm. where you it's kind of red and there's no lights in there. Right, right. And then you dip that, whatever that solution is, that mm. watery solution, and then you hang them up. <laughs> there's something very romantic about that. Romantic in a poetic sense, I mean. Yeah. But the key to that is to make sure that you actually take pictures in the first place, which apparently I need to <laughs> learn how to do. <laughs> um, these days, you can actually have your pictures on your phone yeah. developed mm. so that's quite convenient i yeah, found totally love convenient. it yeah now they have apps on your phone where you can take the negative you know the negatives yeah and you can scroll them or slide them through this little thing it's a contraption a device that you uh, put your phone on top of oh. your phone takes a picture of the negative and turns it into a picture on your phone that's amazing. There's a cool thing for <laughs> oh everything goodness. these wow. days, right? Yeah. Well, let's take a look at some of the greetings we're getting from our listeners. Anhyejun님이요, Sujin Sam, nice earrings. No, it doesn't say that. It says Sujin Sam, nice earrings. They match your top. Oh yeah, I'm we wearing do. sky blue earrings today. Yeah. Big ones. Yeah. Thank you for noticing that, Anhyejun님. 이영미님은요, 새 아침이 밝았습니다. 모스와 함께. 나의 하루를 밝게 열어봅니다. Good morning all. 이렇게 보내주셨고요. 김보정님도 Good morning. 오늘도 모스와 함께 즐겁고 신나는 출근길입니다. 10월 첫날 즐겁게 시작해 보아요. Yeah, it's a good reason to start afresh. Feel like there's something new about the air today. Yeah, well, the temperatures help too, right? Yeah. Because it gets a little bit cooler, a little bit crisper, mm. both in the mornings and in the evening. So that helps out with that feeling of freshness, I think. Does indeed. Yeah. 자, 여러분의 메시지 모두 감사합니다. 그러면 오늘의 headline 시작해 볼까요? Headline number one this morning China marks its 70th national day today with a large military parade and pageant. 중국이 오늘 건국 70주년을 맞아 역대 최대 규모의 행사에 돌입합니다. 
So the People's Republic of China was founded on October 1st in 1949. That was after the Communist Party that was led by Mao Zedong defeated the Nationalist Party in、mm -hmm. a civil war. Today, October 1st, 2019, is the 70th anniversary of、right. that. And we talked about it last week on the show,、mm. right? That this parade is coming,、uh, this massive event is coming, and today is the day. President Xi Jinping happening in Beijing. He's going to be giving a speech for this military. Parade that will involve 100,000 performers. It is a big, big event. Right. Well, yesterday, ahead of today's main event,、uh, a speech was made, and in that speech, I think it was made clear that Xi Jinping said China is one of the top two biggest. Superpowers in the world, and he stressed that、mm. it did seem like he was trying to maybe send out a message to both his people, the people of China, and also the other superpower, America. I think this, the reason for the size of this parade, is perhaps for that, but also to show Chinese people this is how far we have come. Yeah, China. Yeah. You know, if you go back seventy years ago, comes from very poor beginnings, very humble beginnings,、mm. right? But look、mm. where they are now.、Uh, so there's a there's a reason for that too. I think、yeah. in. In that speech, which is, I, I guess, reflective of how big this is going to be. It's going to be the biggest military parade to date、mm -hmm. that they've had in China. I can only imagine because they do everything large scale anyway. Yeah. But this is going to be the biggest so far, and they're going to showcase some very high tech weapons. Yes, that's what we talked about last week on、mm. the show: the intercontinental ballistic missile, right? The IBC or whatever those ICBM, IBCM, right? Those letters go together to make that big <laughs> missile. <laughs> Right. right.、Uh, those will be on display.、Uh, also, security in the area,、mm. both physically and on the internet. There's a crackdown on that. So, in the area, they've asked residents to stay home,、mm. but also the internet too. Cyberspace, they are policing that. Right. Right. Internet access across the city.、Uh, said they were going to delete accounts that distorts. That's a quote. Distorts or insults Chinese history.、Mm. So they're doing everything they can to make sure that this parade, this big event, goes. As smoothly as possible. 음중국에서는이렇게신중국건국칠십주년을맞아서요그게바로오늘인데요최대규모의열병식을열예정이고요시민파레이드도있을거고뭐불꽃놀이등등축제분위기가이어질전망입니다그런데이런분위기와는굉장히많은다굉장히다른모습이이제홍콩에서연출이될것같아요 We're going to see congratulatory events in China and the complete opposite. In Hong Kong, yes. And、What's going on in Hong Kong? Well, exactly. Well, to say that that it's ironic, perhaps,、mm -hmm. it would be an understatement because the countries are too, so too physically close. Yeah. Right. Geographically speaking, one major event celebrating China's history,、mm. and the other doing what they can to make sure that they achieve their freedom. They're calling it a day of mourning. Yeah. Right. And normally you mourn death, so you can see the very different sort of vibe going on、mm -hmm. within the two. Areas are safe、mm -hmm. now. Of course, China sees Hong Kong as the same country.、Uh, Hong Kong 시민들은요오늘대규모애도시위를준비한다고합니다검은색옷을입고요대규모애도시위를연다라는얘기가있고요 The police in Hong Kong,、mm -hmm. who of course are under the government, and the Hong Kong government is very close to Beijing, the police have not、um, allowed. The people to go ahead with this protest, but they said they will anyway. There could be clashes. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's a national、uh, day、mm. in Hong Kong, a national holiday, right? It's a、yeah. day off. Yeah, yeah. For people, so this gives them the perfect opportunity to go、mm. out and protest, right?、Mm. But again, it, it's 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 a juxtapose, isn't、yeah. it? Because they're right next to each other. One day of big celebrations, and the other not so much. 그렇습니다홍콩경찰은요오늘홍콩의이애도시위를허가하지않은상태이기때문에충돌이Let's go on to our next headline. Former Chancellor Sebastian Kurz's People's Party has won a clear victory in Austria's snap parliamentary election. Austria 총선에서세계최연소총리 Sebastian Kurz 가이끄는국민당이So Kurtz's party scored 37.1 percent in Sunday's vote. That's an increase of 5.7 percentage points compared to a 2017 poll.、Uh, the far right Freedom Party, or the FP 
IPO suffered a worse than expected loss down almost 10 percentage points to around 16 percent. This is a sign that the party's reputation may have suffered after a corruption scandal earlier in the year. Did you cover it on Morning Special, I wonder? The Ibiza scandal? Yes, we did. Right. That was back in May, I believe, that forced that party's vice chancellor, his name was Heinz Christian Strach, to step down. There was footage filmed secretly on that island showing Strach appearing to offer public contracts in Mm. exchange for campaign help from a fake Russian hacker. But Kurtz, who was uh, in a coalition with that party, seems to, they say, seems to uh, come out of this unscathed Mm -hmm. because he had to step down at the time. But now with this victory, it kind of shows that maybe it wasn't as damaging as people may have thought it would have been. 네, 크루츠 총리 같은 경우에는 이제 2017년에도 어, 그 당시 에, 최연소 어, 총리로 당선이 됐었죠. 아, 그런데 2019년 5월 그러니까 몇달 전에 아이비사 스캔들로 인해서 물러난 바가 있습니다. 이 스캔들은 이제 정치 스캔들이었는데 그러고 나서 지금 몇 달이 안 돼서요. 스냅 일렉션 이번에 총선을 통해서 다시 한번 이 당이 최대 의석수를 차지하면서 또 다시 뭐 총리가 될 것으로 보여지고요. He's still only 30. I was just three. I was just about to say yeah. he's very young. He's mm. 33 years old. So yeah. he was 31 when he first became the chancellor. That's right. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, also, looking at some of the other parties on this list, what stands out for me is the Green Party. Mm-hmm. Because back in 2017, when Kurtz, you know, he, he became the Chancellor back then as well, but the Green Party had less than 4%. Of the votes. And they grew a lot. And that was one of the top election issues this time around. Uh, voters were really concerned about that. Immigration was a bigger issue in 2017. Okay. But surveys uh, suggested that voters were more concerned about climate change mm. with, uh, with this election. And that's probably why the Green Party saw some growth in popularity. It's quite fascinating. Mm. Hey. 여러 가지 이번에 그 총선 결과를 보고 분석을 할수 있겠지만 그 중에서도 이제 녹색당이 지난 2017년 총선 때는 4% 미만의 득표율을 기록했는데요. 이번에는 14% 정도의 득표율. 그래서 굉장히 많이 이제 올랐습니다. 이것을 두고 이제 많은 전문가들은 오스트리아 국민들이 환경 문제를 굉장히 중요시 하고 있다라는 어떤 반증이다라고 얘기를 하고 있습니다. Okay, let's leave that story there and move on to our next story. Uh, Vietnam's economy has surged more than 7% in the third quarter despite a global economic slowdown. Global 통상 마찰과 경기 둔화에도 베트남의 올해 3분기 7%가 넘는 경제 성장률을 기록했습니다. Mm, Vietnam's economic growth really sped up in the third quarter mm. of the year. Their GDP or gross domestic product rose 7.31% from a year earlier. Uh, that was up from a revised 6.73% in the seven quarter. And all of this is happening during a global economic slowdown. Vietnam seems to be doing very, very well. Mm. Uh, by the way, GDP, you'll hear that a lot when you talk about the economy yeah. of a country. Uh, that's just a tool used to measure economic activity in the country. It puts a monetary value on mm. all kind of goods and services. Mm. 그래서 이제 GDP 국내 총생산 베트남이 이제 3분기에 7.31% 전년 동기 대, 어, 대비 7.31% 증가했다는 통계가 어제 나왔습니다. 당초 예상했던 것보다 훨씬 좋은 수치고요. Um, what about the the last quarter? We're expecting good things for Vietnam to come as well. Uh, yeah, things are expected to be good. Growth in manufacturing is one of the big reasons for that. Although agriculture is down. Okay. And I think we're going to see a clear reason for this. Uh, their nine-month agricultural output slowed to 2.02%. That's down from 3.7% a year earlier. Any guesses as to why that might be? Uh, Let me know. What is it? The African swine fever. Yeah, it's reduced the nation's uh, pig herd by 19%. Uh, That contributed to the deceleration of agricultural production growth. But again, Mm. manufacturing is up in the country, so it's quite good news. 네, 4분기도 지금 전망이 상당히 좋습니다. 
뭐 글로벌 이코노미스트, 캐피털 이코노미스트, 뭐 메이뱅크 등등 많은 이제 전문 그룹들이 6.9에서 7% 정도의 성장률을 지금 전망하고 있습니다. Also too interesting that they could end the year with an inflation rate of less than 3%. That's lower than the 4% target that the government had put out there. Food mm. prices have remained very stable and that kind of stood out to me because I think you saw the news too about Seoul mm. being the sixth was it the sixth most expensive city in the world when yeah. it comes to grocery shopping mm. and eating, but Vietnam's food prices have remained pretty stable. Yeah, experts are saying that for some reason Vietnam is unscathed, to, to use the word you used earlier, mm. from all of the trade disputes happening around the world, America, China, and then within Asia as well, lots of things are affecting other economies, but it seems like Vietnam is um, pretty much unaffected. Yeah, seemingly. All right, let's go on to... Our next story. Yemen's Houthi rebels have released footage they said was of a major attack on Saudi Arabia's southern region of Najran. 사우디아라비아 나즈란 지역을 대규모로 공격해서 승리를 거뒀다고 주장한 예멘 반군 후티가 증거 동영상을 공개했습니다. Now they say it's proof. They uh, say. Are, are people buying it? Uh, well, you can be the judge of that, I guess. But this is what happened. So a Houthi military spokesman, they described, he described this ambush on the Saudi forces that developed into a quote-unquote all-out cross-border offensive mm -hmm. that trapped the troops inside of Saudi Arabia. More than 200 were killed, according to the claim, right. in dozens of strikes. Uh, and also, he said that there was an offensive 72 hours earlier that had defeated three enemy military brigades, leading to the capture of thousands of troops. Mm. But if you look at the video that was released, it shows an attack on armored vehicles, but there's no verification of the Houthi claim. It's not that clear. It doesn't seem like mm. the... It's a very close-up uh, video of, of the tank and yeah. some people, right? Yeah, exactly. But it doesn't seem to match the claim of mm. the deaths and the the um, size of the attack yeah. that the military spokesman said. So the question remains, I think, mm. is, well, f number one, is this verifiable? Number two, Yemen continues to make these claims, right? And Saudi Arabia continues to, to say no. It continues to deny that these are true. Uh, 네, 사우디아라비아를 공격해서 승리를 거뒀다라고 예멘이 주장하고 있습니다. 그 예멘 중에서도 이제 예멘 반군 후티를 우리가 지금 보고 있는 건데요. 증거 동영상이라고 해서 동영상 하나를 공개했는데 사우디군은 아직 이를 확인하지 않은 상태고요. 심지어는 이게 아마 사실이 아닐 거다라는 얘기까지 나오고 있습니다. So far as you said, there's no verification of military success. Some are going as far as saying it may not even have happened. Yeah, well, there was no date given for when the video was taken. So I guess there's no timestamp on the video, and they're not mm. saying when it was taken either. Of course, this takes us back to um, the 14th, I think it was, when the Houthi rebels back then, they claimed responsibility for firing down some oil facilities mm -hmm. in Saudi Arabia, which again, Saudi Arabia said, no, no it wasn't what you. It was yeah. Iran. Yeah. So we will have to see what Saudi Arabia makes of this latest claim. Our final story, please. An art festival in Japan has decided to put back on display a statue representing women forced into Japan's wartime sexual slavery. 우익 세력과 일본 정부 등의 압박 속에 중단된 소녀상 정, 전시가 일본에서 재개될 전망입니다. Right, so the art festival here is the Aichi Triennale, right? Mm -hmm. And they are going to resume exhibition of this statue. This is according to Kyoto News. Uh, they report this just yesterday. The organizers of the festival have agreed to put it back up from the 6th to the 8th of October mm. and uh, discuss future schedules at a later date. 네, 반가운 소식이네요. 다음 달, 아, 다음 달이 아니라 이번 달이죠. 이제 10월이 됐으니까요. 6일에서 8일 어, 사이에 전시를 재개한다라는 소식이 어제 들어왔고요. 구체적인 일정은 추후 협의하기로 했다고 합니다. Those were our headlines. They were indeed. Okay, let's remind our listeners of the quiz. Quiz question today. Generally, we say that a picture is worth a thousand, number one, ponies, number two, greetings, or number three, words. 
All right. If you know the answer, send it in to us. 짧은 문자 50원, 긴 문자 100원, 샵 1045고요. 반디 게시판이나 카카오톡 플러스는 무료로 이용 가능합니다. 떡볶이 세트 총 다섯 분께 보내드리겠습니다. Here's KC and Sunshine Band with our first song of the day, Please Don't Go. You're listening to Morning Special on this very first day of October 2019. Welcome to the show if you've just joined us. And as our first song went, uh, Please Don't Go. They turned that into a, like a 90s dance song. <laughs> you never heard that one before? I might have heard of it, actually, now that you, you sang it there. Yeah, the original was much, much better, in my opinion. <laughs> okay. 김진우님이요. 오늘 벌써 10월 첫날이네요. 국군의 날이군요. 세월이 정말 빠르게 지나가는 것 같습니다. Yeah, they say that the, the older you get, the faster time goes. Uh-huh. Steve. What? <laughs> what do you want to know, Sue? <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> That's what my parents say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kim Sung-hye 님이요. Sin Sam, 아기 낳고 8개월 만에 출근합니다. 어색하고 걱정도 많아지는 출근길이지만 늘 함께 하던 모스 들으니 마음을 어, 진정해 보아요. 저랑 아기 또 할머니까지 모두 같이 힘내라고 응원해 주세요라고 보내 주셨습니다. Congratulations on the birth of your baby. This person is returning to work eight months after giving birth. So that's going to be nerve-wracking. Fighting, yes, as they say. Fighting. What's the typical amount of time away from work? for? Normally, it's, I think, three months. Is it only three months for maternity leave? Actually, that that's like... The basic, okay, you know, number of months you can be away, and then after that, it depends on the company, I think. Goodness. So this person was away for eight months. Eight, some even eight months feels too short, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think some people, teachers, they get a year mm. off. You know, uh, us freelancers, <laughs> it's indefinite. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, it depends. But, In, uh, indefinite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> you're never guaranteed a spot when you, you know. It's true. Um, good luck going back to work. I wonder how that feels. Maybe a little nervous, right? Yeah, Being sure. away for a few months, mm. but uh, yeah, getting back into the the old lifestyle, I guess. Mm. Mm. 네, 화이팅 하시길 바라겠습니다. Yeah. 이미선님이 서울의 모습. 저는 평택에서 어린 시절을 보냈는데요. 그래서 어린 시절 서울 구경은 너무 신기하고 좋은 기억만 있습니다. 서울 역사의 모습은 웅장하고 멋졌어요. 지금도 가끔 기차 타고 서울 가면은 변함없는 역사의 모습은 어릴 적그 모습 그대로입니다. This listener lived outside of Seoul and so every time she visited it was like going to the big city it was amazing and they still have that memory. Oh, I remember when I was uh, nine years old, I was yeah. having my 10th birthday. Mm -hmm. And I'm from Tatamagush, Nova Scotia. We have a population of around a thousand people, maybe. Oh, wow, is that was, small? It's oh, a super countryside. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember we were going to Halifax, the, the capital, a, the, the capital yeah. of Nova Scotia. <laughs> we were going there to celebrate my 10th birth <laughs> birthday, and we stayed in a hotel. And I remember my sister said to me, yeah. Steve, this is a really big deal. And I said, mm -hmm. why? Mm -hmm. She said, because you're two digits now. Not just one. Oh, yeah. You're 10. That's two digits. <gasps> wow. Nine is just one. Yeah. And I thought, wow, <laughs> I must be getting old. And then I thought to myself, you know, time really flies as you get older. Imi-san-nim, <laughs> 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 그 티켓을 나중에 넣고 나오는 줄 모르고요. 꼬깃꼬깃 얼마나 창피했는지 저는 한옥마을 전주랍니다라고 보내주셨어요. The first time this person got on the subway, they didn't realize that you had to hang on to the ticket mm -hmm. for when you come out of the station. Okay. So after they got in, apparently they sort of screwed it up. Mm. And they were about to throw it away. And then they realized, oh, you know. I need this. I need this. And... That person has that memory from 1974. Gotcha. That's their first memory of Seoul. Because mm. I did ask in the opening if people had memories of old Seoul back in the day. Um, yeah, the rectangular tickets. Do you, I don't know, how long have you been in Korea? 19 years. Okay. 
Had you ever used those rectangular? Sure. Oh, okay. Those, so you those know, paper tickets? Yeah, yeah. Of course. With the magnetic strip yeah, in the middle. Yeah, okay, yeah. Those, familiar days, with those. those days are long gone <laughs> now, though, right? I have a memory <laughs> yeah. of public transportation in Seoul, too, but maybe I'll share that another time. All right. Mm. Well, thank you for all of your messages. Keep sending those in and also the quiz answers. If you have any questions, ask away. We have five Dokboki sets waiting for their new owners in the first hour. But in the meantime, we're going to go over our first news focus story. 자, 첫 번째 뉴스 포커스입니다. 도널드 트럼프 미국 대통령이 우크라이나 스캔들을 폭로한 당사자인 미 정보기관의 내부 고발자를 직접 만나겠다는 뜻을 밝혔습니다. Let's listen to the story. <웃음> President Donald Trump on Sunday escalated his rebuke of the anonymous whistleblower at the center of the mounting Ukraine controversy, asserting that he deserves to, quote, meet my accuser. Trump also echoed his previous attacks on the whistleblower and promised big consequences for anyone who assisted in providing the person information. The comment prompted the House to call on the president to stop attacking the whistleblower. Mm, some people are saying the whistleblower and the person that provided information to the whistleblower mm -hmm. um, c could be under some sort of a threat now because the president said, you know, the, be careful. Yeah, well, he said he promised big consequences. Well, okay, yeah. So what does that, that mean? That is a bit of a threat, it, it, it isn't it? It's considered a threat. It's considered Ooh. bullying. That's mm. right. Yeah. So he escalated his rebuke. Mm -hmm. An escalator goes mm -hmm. up. Yeah. It also goes down, to be fair. But think <laughs> about the one that goes up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and when something escalates, mm. think about an argument. Okay. So you're fighting with your boyfriend or your girlfriend. Mm. And it starts out, you're just talking. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not happy these days. Well, I'm not happy either. Okay. Why? Well, you lied to me. Well, you lied to me too. Yeah, but you said you would. Can you see how my voice is getting higher and higher? <laughs> right? yes, same. But that, that, that argument is escalating. Yeah. Mm. And we say escalate just like going up, just like an escalator goes up. So mm. tensions escalate, mm -hmm. situations escalate, they get more serious, mm. they get more dangerous. Right. And with President Donald Trump, he made this situation worse. Some are saying by mm -hmm. promising big consequences to anyone who assisted uh, the whistleblower. 네, 고조되다라는 뜻의 escalate가 여기서 쓰였는데요. Formerly he said this is a witch hunt. Mm. You know, that was He likes to say those that. Those were strong yeah. words enough, but he's escalated that by saying I want to meet my whistleblower. Yeah, I think the quote was something along the lines of just like any American, I have the right mm. to meet my accuser. Mm. Mm. 네. So, let's look at this next expression here asserting that he deserves to meet his accuser. When we talk about um, words being spoken in an assertive fashion, mm -hmm. you're saying something with force, you're mm. stre saying something strongly. So he said, I want to meet my accuser, I have that right. So that's why we say asserting because he said it that way. Mm. But I think we use this more commonly when we talk about our own personal selves and applying effort to things. Okay. So if you want to really improve your English, mm. if you want to really improve your English, you have to assert yourself. Mm. And what that means is you have to give the necessary effort, you have to try really hard. Mm. 자, 여기서는 이제 주장하다라는 뜻으로 쓰였지만 뭐 때에 따라서는 정말 많은 노력을 기울인다라고 쓸수 있다는 예외를 들어 주셨습니다. Trump also echoed his previous attacks. If you go to the Grand Canyon, or if you go to the stairwell <laughs> in your office building, that's probably nearer yeah, yes. than the Grand Canyon. <laughs> and you say, hello, you'll probably hear this, hello. That's an echo, right? <laughs> so you're hearing the same word mm. repeated again. Good. And that's what it means when we say Trump echoed his previous attacks on the whistleblower. It mm. means he said the same thing that he said before, mm -hmm. just like an echo in the stairwell right. repeats your words. 네. Mm. 메아리치다라는 뜻의 echo가 여기서는 반복해서 말했다라는 의미로 쓰였습니다. The comment prompted the House to call on the president mm. to stop attacking the whistleblower. Right, so A prompts B mm -hmm. to happen. The comment prompted 
the House to ask the president to stop. A causes B to happen. That's when we say prompted. Here's mm. an example. Chuseok is just finished, right? Yeah. A lot of people gained some extra pounds during Chuseok holiday time. Mm. Mm-hmm. So you could say my weight gain prompted me to sign up for a gym membership. Ah. A, okay. my weight gain mm. prompted B, me to sign up for a gym membership. 음, 어떤 행동을 하게끔 하다라는 뜻입니다. 그래서 어, 프레지던트 트럼프의 이런 트위터 그 메시지가 어, house the house here refers to the the the, the, the in par, in uh, government, the in, government in the United 음, States. 그렇죠. Yeah. Members 네. of the house. Yeah. 네, 하원으로 하여금 이제 대통령한테 그만 공격을 하시오라는 말을 하게끔 했다라는 뜻의 prompt가 여기서 쓰였습니다. And let's listen to this story one more time. President Donald Trump on Sunday escalated his rebuke of the anonymous whistleblower at the center of the mounting Ukraine controversy, asserting that he deserves to, quote, meet my accuser. Trump also echoed his previous attacks on the whistleblower and promised big consequences for anyone who assisted in providing the person information. The comment prompted the House to call on the president to stop attacking the whistleblower. 자두 번째 뉴스 포커스입니다. 1년 전 터키 이스탄불 주재 사우디아라비아 총영사관에서 피살된 언론인 자말 카쇼크지 사건 기억하실 텐데요. 그 마지막 순간이 담긴 녹음을 들은 헬레나 케네디 변호사는 영국 BBC 방송에서 웃음소리가 들렸고 온몸이 오싹해졌다고 말했습니다. Let's listen to the story. On the 2nd of October 2018, Jamal Khashoggi, a journalist and critic of Saudi Arabia's government, was murdered in the Saudi consulate in Istanbul. Two of the people who have listened to covert recordings of his killings have described the detail of what they heard to a program on BBC One. The Saudi government declined to give an interview to the show, but said it condemned the abhorrent killing and it was committed to holding the perpetrators accountable. 아, 그러니까 Not always. For example, a movie critic is just someone who gives opinions about something. Mm. They could say good things or they could say bad things about it. Mm -hmm. Uh, A restaurant critic is the same thing. But if you say, I have my critics. Yes, okay, this actor is popular with people, but... They, he does or she does have his or her critics. It means that there are people who do not like them. Mm. And in this context, when we're talking about Jamal Khashoggi saying he was a critic of Saudi Arabia's government, it's not the implication of movie or restaurant. It's the implication of saying negative things about it. 그렇죠. 여기서는 이제 비판하는 사람이라는 의미로 이해를 하시면 되겠고요. 원래는 이제 비평가라는 뜻입니다. He was, in fact, one of the key members within Saudi Arabia to give advice to some of the royals back in the day. But because he actually criticized the government mm. several times, he he wasn't exactly the most favorable person to have on board. Mm. Eventually, he ended up living in America. He was a journalist there. And uh, I remember this story very, very clearly. He was about to get married to his girlfriend. His fiance was his fiance outside, was right? waiting for him yeah. outside the Saudi embassy in um, Turkey. Now, two of the few, few people who've listened to covert recordings of the killings have uh, described in detail what they heard. Mm, covert means hidden or secret. Mm. We'll hear this when we talk about military strikes, ah, sometimes okay. covert operations. Ah. Uh, it means that it's not, you're not open to the public with mm. what you are doing. Right? Sure. I mean, it's taken this long for a recording to be released mm-hmm. because we're talking about a diplomatic embassy, even though it wasn't in Saudi Arabia. 
And maybe thanks to the fact that it wasn't in Saudi Arabia, we have recordings at all. Mm -hmm. But nonetheless, it took a very, very long time for these to be uncovered. Covert, 그러면 이제 비밀에라는 뜻이 있습니다. Okay, and uh, let's look at just one more expression here, abhorrent. Yeah, the Saudi government, they didn't want to talk about uh, things with the with the show that this mm. is meant to appear on, but they did com- condemn what they called the abhorrent killing. Abhorrent, A-B-H-O-R-R-E-N-T. So that H is a silent H, isn't yeah. it? And it means inappropriate, disgusting, mm. It can be comments. Yeah. It can be behavior. If I come on morning special and I make racist comments, then you can say, oh, how disgusting that was. Mm. Those were abhorrent. Okay. Right? And what that right, means right. is totally inappropriate, totally mm. disgusting, unacceptable behavior or comments. Sure. But this is completely different level. They had about a dozen people with bone sores entering the building yeah. apparently they did the work 혐오감을 자아낸다는 뜻의 abhorrent 가 여기서 killing 앞에 쓰였습니다 okay and let's listen to this story one more time On the 2nd of October 2018, Jamal Khashoggi, a journalist and critic of Saudi Arabia's government, was murdered in the Saudi consulate in Istanbul. Two of the few people who have listened to covert recordings of his killing have described the detail of what they heard to a program on BBC One. The Saudi government declined to give an interview to the show, but said it condemned the abhorrent killing and it was committed to holding the perpetrators accountable. What's the quiz again, Steve? Quiz question today. Generally, we say that a picture is worth a thousand blank. Number one, ponies. Number two, greetings. Number three, words. 음, 우리도 백문이 불여일견이라는 말을 하잖아요. 비슷한 속담이 되겠습니다. 골라주시고요. 짧은 문자 50원, 긴 문자 100원에 샵1045 반디 게시판이나 카카오톡 플러스 이용도 가능합니다. 총 다섯 분께 떡볶이 세트 보내드릴 거고요. A message uh, came in just a few minutes ago by our listener 홍영심님. 안녕하세요. 여긴 뉴욕입니다. 매일 아침 집에서 듣다가 지금 오후 7시 반인데요. 저녁에도 열심히 듣고 있는 애청자입니다. 여기 온지 2주 됐는데 여름 날씨처럼 더워요. 서울은 가을 날씨겠죠? 두분 선생님 감사드립니다. Okay, listen to me. Yeah. In New York City, Mm -hmm. go to a street called St. Mark's Place. You Mm -hmm. know where I'm talking about, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, Go to the donut shop on St. Mark's Place and get the peanut butter jam donut. It will change (laughs) your life. (laughs) <laughs> 네, 들으셨죠? <laughs> 가보셨나 봐요. Is that your favorite donut shop in New York? I don't even like donuts. Yeah? And that was amazing. Really? Super good. Peanut butter donuts? Peanut butter jam. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> PB&J. Yep. Uh, very American. <laughs> 홍영심님, 뉴욕에서 이렇게 청해 주셔서 정말 감사합니다. Mm. Well, with you in mind, we're going to play our next song. This is Bette Midler, From a Distance. 자, 세 번째 뉴스 포커스 보겠습니다. 2022년 카타르 월드컵 아시아 지역 2차 예선 2, 3차전에 나설 축구대표팀 명단이 확정됐습니다. Let's listen to the story. Head coach Paulo Bento announced his 25-man roster for a pair of second-round Group H matches in the Asian qualification competition for the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Along with renowned Sun Hung Min and Lee Gang In, one name that sticks out is 20-year-old defensive back Lee Jae Ik, who manned the back line during South Korea's run to the final at the Under-20 World Cup in Poland. The team will host 202nd-ranked Sri Lanka on October 10th in Hwasong before traveling to. Pyongyang on October 15th to take on 113th ranked North Korea. South Korea are trying to qualify for their 10th consecutive World Cup. <laughs> 네, 손흥민 선수, 이강인 선수를 비롯해서 25명의 대표 선수들이 29년 만에 이뤄지는 한국 남자 축구의 평양 원정에도 동행합니다. 
exciting stuff. Yeah, it's pretty impressive, yeah. right? Korea trying to uh, get into their 10th consecutive World Cup. That's uh, that's mm. 10 in a row. That's pretty good. Exactly. And this match in North Korea yeah. is something different. So we're looking at uh, sticking out. That's the first expression here. Yeah, so one name that sticked. Uh, that sticks out is this 20-year-old defensive back EJX. So mm -hmm. if something sticks out, it is the one thing that is clear to you amongst others. Mm. Let me give you an easy example. If I'm looking at a group of people and every person is wearing a black t-shirt, mm -hmm. but one person is wearing a red t-shirt, then what am I going to notice the, the red the red one person. the red t-shirt person because <laughs> it sticks out yeah it it's clear to me mm. when i look at something right mm -hmm. so the reason we say one name that sticks out is 20 year old defensive back ej is because if you look at the list of players mm -hmm. you will see son hung min mm -hmm. you'll see Yi gang in uh-huh those names are supposed to be there right so right. They, they don't stand out mm. but one name that does make you say oh wow look at that name i noticed that name that would be ej Ah, 그래요. 뭔가 튄다 아, 라는 뜻의 stick out 가 여기서 쓰였습니다. 그 우리 그 사자성어 중에 뭐 낭중지추 이런 거 있잖아요. 그, 그거랑 약간 비슷해요. 주머니에 그 무엇이 이렇게 툭 튀어나온 것처럼 stick out 그러면 튀어나오다, 튀다 어, 그런 뜻이 있습니다. 그래서 월드컵 그 언더 20 준우승의 주역이죠. 이재익 선수의 이름이 제일 좀 눈에 띈다 이런 의미가 되겠습니다. And let's look at one more expression here. The South Korean team are trying to qualify for their 10th consecutive World Cup. Yeah, we talked about this term not so long ago, yep. too, I think. And it just means that they get in based upon their record. Mm, mm. All right. Mm -hmm. 자, 그래서 uh, qualify 그 예선 전 and qualifying match. Yeah, exactly. And what that means is if, if you win the match, mm -hmm. then you qualify for the tournament. All right. Well, that was our news focus number three. What is the answer to the quiz today? Question was, generally, we say that a picture is worth a thousand blank. Number one, ponies. Number two, greetings. Number three, words. Mm. Answer is? Number three. Words. Words. It yeah. would be weird if it was ponies. It would be. What would you do with a thousand ponies? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> 신우창님, 민정미님, 7113 급번호 쓰시는 분과 8642님, 8827님 모두 축하드립니다. 떡볶이 set 보내드릴게요. What is today's expression, Steve? Oh, let's talk about this one that we just talked about, stick out. Mm. And I'll give you a little bonus expression for it. So we said stick out means the thing that is obvious when mm. you look at a bigger picture, right? Yep. So I'll tell you a very short story. My first year in Korea, mm. I didn't know that Halloween was not commonly celebrated. <laughs> now it kind of is, yeah. but especially not at that time. I dressed up as Superman. Oh. And I went to a party in Dehangro. Mm -hmm. When I got out of the taxi, I stuck out <laughs> like a, a sore, sore thumb. thumb because <laughs> I was the only person dressed up. And everybody in Dehangro was like, oh, Superman, what are you doing <laughs> here? <laughs> yeah. 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 Stick out. So if you look at all the people on the street, Superman was the one that stuck out. Mm. And the fun expression is to stick out like a sore thumb. All right. Fantastic. Well, have a great day today, Steve. You have a great day today, Sue. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. All right. Coming up in hour two, we have Say What and also music with Punita. This song will take us into hour two. John Cougar. Hurts so good.